क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव इट इज दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो बिगिन फ्रॉम द ऑप्टिक्स एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू यूज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन एज वेल एज हाइगन प्रिंसिपल वी हैव टू यूज हाइगन प्रिंसिपल टू एक्सप्लेन द रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट एज द हाइट इंक्रीजेस एज द हाइट इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड the value of refractive index is continuously increases mu increases as the height from the ground is increases in this problem according to huygen principle if rays is incident or coming horizontally we consider Two rays. Since here the refractive index mu one and here the refractive index mu two and refractive index mu two is greater than one. Since as the height increases, the value of refractive index is increasing according to problem. Okay. Now we use another ray diagram to explain this problem very accurately. Now these rays. This is the first ray and is another ray this is the wavefront of the incident ray this is the incident wavefront now we draw a secondary wavelet from this incident wavefront for taking center a and b since the refractive index mu2 is greater than mu1 therefore speed of light in this medium is smaller as compared to speed of light in mu1 in mu1 medium speed of light is greater therefore envelope of wavefront of this in this medium must be greater as compared to a1 so we take smaller r for a1 and greater r for b now we draw a secondary wave front this is the secondary wave front and we know that rays must be perpendicular to the wave front therefore rays after a and b bends in upward direction you can see by using the huygen principle when the rays a parallel beam of rays is in, is coming horizontally then after after entering in the medium we find that the incident wave front is a plane wave front but the refractive index is varying from high at the lower end the refractive index is smaller but as we raise above from the ground the refractive index is increasing and in dense medium the speed of light is smaller and in rare medium speed of light is greater and according to huygen principle the speed of light in mu2 medium is smaller therefore we have to draw a small envelope or a small primary wave front and from b we have to consider the large envelope or large primary wave front and now draw a forward envelope on these two wave front we got a another secondary wave front this is called secondary wave front secondary wave front from this drawing it is clear that ray is always perpendicular to the wave front therefore we draw a ray perpendicular to this wave front we find that the ray must be rising in upward direction therefore the right answer of this problem must be the rays must bend in upward direction and after checking the option we find that the alternate number 4 bends upward is the right answer 